Hey everyone, it's time for another top 10 best places to visit in Maryland. A well-known nickname to describe Maryland can be America in miniature. This is a good definition of the mid-Atlantic states that has a little of everything. Within its boundaries, you will see coastal sports as well as waterfront cities, beautiful mountains. Its closeness to the city of Washington, D.C. keeps it contemporary. However, the rich background of the region indicates that the state is situated deep into the distant past. From the major cities of Baltimore and Annapolis to the stunning bodies of waters scattered across the state, here are the top places to go in Maryland. If you are new here, please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon for more videos. We hope you like this video and share your thoughts in the comments below. Number 10. It's Deep Creek Lake In the lush forests of Maryland, there is a lake created by a man named Deep Creek Lake. The region around the lake is referred to like the same. It is a place for outdoor recreation for visitors and locals alike. In winter, the mountains around Deep Creek Lake are widely loved for skying. In summer, you can enjoy golf or more than a dozen courses in the region. Various water-based sports are readily available. However, an enjoyable way to spend the time is by the ground. At Amish Miller Farm, you can take off for an afternoon horse-drawn carriage ride to experience the everyday life of a traditional Amish farm. Number 9 is the Chesapeake Bay. One of the biggest bays in the world is the huge Chesapeake Bay, which was at one time was known as Great Shellfish Bay. Many places throughout Maryland are located in the water of the bay. This means that there are many ways to explore the area. You could take a look at the waters when you travel across the Chesapeake Bay Bridge from Sandy Point or be absorbed in the Methodist community located at Smith Island. Whatever you do, make sure you don't miss the specialties of regional cuisine in the Chesapeake Bay, Maryland Blue Crabs. At number 8, it's Frederick. If you're a lover of antiques, there is no better place to go than the tiny Frederick City. Frederick established around the turn of the 18th century. Frederick still retains its old-fashioned atmosphere and has a number of wonderful antique malls along with local dealers and artists within the region. There are many historical houses that you can visit, including the Barbara Fritchie home. This home is furnished with traditional decor. Barbara Fritchie was a hero for her bravery waving the Union flag as General Stonewall Jackson marched past. Market Street is the best spot to visit vintage souvenir shopping. However, there's also the Francis Scott Key Mall is an excellent alternative. Number 7. It's Antietam National Battlefield. The Battle of Antietam is known as the most bloody day in the history of the American military. This implies it is that Antietam National Battlefield is an important landmark that is worth exploring. The most effective way to explore the huge battlefield is, to begin with, the visitor center. From there, you can take an almost 9 miles loop 
complete with audio tours. For those who are dedicated Civil War enthusiasts, this cannot be beaten. It is also possible to visit Pry House Field Hospital Museum. Pry House Field Hospital Museum with impressive exhibit that showcased the range of how nurses and doctors had to face during the war. In the end, you will be able to take in the scenic beauty and nature of this region by walking along with one of the Antietam remembered or Union Advance Trails. At number 6, it's Swallow Falls State Park. Outside of Oakland is Swallow Hills State Park. The Yakagini River flows across the park's boundaries and creates stunning rapids as well as beautiful gorges. The highlight of any trip in the Swallow Falls State Park is Muddy Creek Falls, an impressive 50-foot water feature that makes quiet a splash. A short hike of one mile will take you to the waterfalls. and you will be passing through gorgeous hemlock trees on the way. If you're looking to take on a more strenuous hike, then you can hike between Swallow Falls and Harrington Manor State Park. A well-marked hike that's only 5 miles long. At number 5, it's Assateague Island. On the eastern shore of Maryland is the barrier island Assati. The island that is uninhabited is split in half, with one being an official park and the other half an United States National Seashore. The gorgeous island is famous for its ponies, which are amazing when they run across the sand dunes that line the shoreline. A walk on the life of the Tunes Trail is an unforgettable experience. It allows you to enjoy the view and listen to the ocean's waves and see the various birds that make the area home. Swimming is permitted on the majority of the island's beaches and lifeguards are present at the busiest areas. Number 4. It's Annapolis. Annapolis is the capital of Maryland. Annapolis is a large city with many attractions worth visiting. In the downtown area, a lot of the architecture is old. The majority of them date back to the 17th century, the 80th or 90th centuries. It is said that Annapolis City Dock is a well-known spot to spend time. as well as watching the Naval Academy midshipmen performing exercises in uniform. The dock is home to many live performances and massive ships coming out and in daily. Tours are also provided at the United States Naval Academy and can be arranged via the Armored Lafayette Visitor Center. Number 3. It's Chesapeake and Ohio Canal. The Chesapeake and Ohio Canal was constructed in the mid-80s from Washington, D.C. all the way to Cumberland which is greater than 100 miles. Some paths run along the long sections of this canal, providing numerous opportunities for hiking and cycling. as well as just taking in the views. Because the region is rich in historical significance, there are many attractions that surround important spots along the canal. 
In the summer months, boat tours are offered from both the Great Fall Tavern Visitor Center and Williams Park Visitor Center. All of the trails exploring the smallest part of history is an unforgettable experience. Number 2. It's Ocean City As the name suggests, Ocean City is a city situated at the edge of the water. Being in the Atlantic Ocean means that 10 miles of sandy beach are the main attraction to visit. The boardwalk's history is a must-see and is located at the southernmost point of the Ocean City Beach. On the boardwalk, you can take a break to play games, see live performances, go shopping, enjoy delicious beach food, and visit the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum. Number 1. It's Baltimore It is a city that Baltimore is a fascinating destination to visit in Maryland, as its inner harbor is a center of activity. The National Aquarium in the Inner Harbor is the city's most popular attraction and has over 17,000 different fish species, from sharks to seahorses. It is possible to see complete marine ecosystem in one huge glass tank. The Inner Harbor is the top of the world, an observation that lets you take in your city's views from the 27th floor vantage point. If you are looking forward to the theme of pirates within the urban setting, go out to sea for a thrilling trip on a pirate boat complete with costumes for the crew members and even firing cannons. If you are new here, please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon for more videos. We hope you liked this video and share your thoughts in the comments below.